American poet Thomas B. Aldrich wrote, to keep the heart unwrinkled, to be hopeful, kindly, cheerful, and reverent, that is to triumph over old age. Welcome to The Unwrinkled Heart Caregiver's Journeys. Welcome to the Unwrinkled Heart Caregiver's Journeys. I'm Kern Cherry, your host with over 30 years of experience in the healthcare field. Our goal of the program is to educate, empower, and inform caregivers across the Mississippi Gulf Coast and to ensure that you are not alone in your caregiver's journey. Today we have with us three remarkable women from the Gulf Coast that will be sharing their stories. We have Sabrina Starworth, who is from many backgrounds uh, in her career, but she'll be sharing her caregiver's journeys. We also have Courtney Williams of Brookdale Assisted Living, and she'll be sharing tips on how, how to care for your parents in the assisted living home. And in addition to that, we also have the Renaissance woman, Joyce Battle, who will be sharing with us, and can you believe it, she cooks too. She'll be showing us some of her baking tips and we'll be sharing and tasting some of her goodies. We'll be right back. They go above and beyond what any of the other casinos do. They make you feel at home. They make you feel like family. You ready, They make you feel at home right away. I can't even tell you how many hugs I've had today. Never ever experienced anything but positive and lovely people and fantastic times. I don't want to go anywhere else. I won't stay anywhere else. I've done all the other casinos. This is my casino. Taking care of your aging parents or disabled child can be difficult. PRN is here to help. We specialize in assisting family members and caregivers in keeping their loved ones in their preferred living environment. We provide assistance in homemaker and adult sitter services, nursing assistance, personal care aides, and will even help you with your everyday errands. We have services available 24 hours a day. We'll help you figure out what you need and tailor the hours and services to fit. You can keep up with our show called Caregiver's Journeys on Cable One Channel 1007 or UVerse Channel 17. If you need help with taking care of your aging parent or disabled child, call and make an appointment with us today at 228-385-2603. For more info, visit our website, prnhomecareservices.com. Oh. Really? And you say you love your grandma? Call 888-936-6832 or visit HandyDandyMoving.com. Handy Dandy comes in handy. Hey, hey, yeah, you. You're watching WXVO Ocean 7 TV. Make sure to like, follow, and share us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for exciting contests and giveaways. And remember, when you visit our sponsors, tell them you saw them here on Ocean 7. Step into the past at Beauvoir. Located on the beautiful Mississippi Gulf Coast, the 52-acre estate is a national historic landmark. History enthusiasts love the iconic antebellum home in Presidential Library. Nature lovers revel in the 79 species of birds, beautiful oyster bayou, and over 300 majestic oaks. And families enjoy the experience of a slower pace with Southern charm. Come see us at Beauvoir. It's not just a place, but a place in time. Hey, 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 what's going on here? I'm moving it. This fine piece of shed art was just fine where it was. Look, as brother and sister and business partners, we may not always agree. Yeah, that's true. But there is one thing that we do agree on, and that's one-to-one -one banking at, at Charter. Charter Bank. Charter Bank has gone mobile. Sign up today for your free mobile app. Only at your local Charter Bank. Four convenient locations. Gulfport, Biloxi, Ocean Springs, and Pascagoula. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, certain restrictions apply. Welcome back to the Unwrinkled Heart Caregiver's Journeys. I'm here today with Sabrina Starworth. And Sabrina is, has done many things in her career. She's worked with Delta Airlines, Lowe's, lived all over, even Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And now she's back, returned home to the Mississippi Gulf Coast in Biloxi. And I'm so glad you're willing to come on today and share your story. How did you make the decision to come back to take care of your grandmother? 
Well, current for me, it was a no-brainer. My grandmother's my heart. Uh, when she became ill and my mother retired from Coca-Cola, we uh, decided both to come back here and take care of her full-time. That way, she didn't have to worry about going in a home or someone else taking care of her needs. Wow. So, so, so did you ever have any regrets about that, though, as far as uh, having to do the care? I mean, you had to give up your career where you were at the time, right? Yes, I did. I, I gave them a uh, letter of rec uh, resignation two weeks in advance and everybody was shocked. No, I don't. I don't regret it one bit. Um, for me, it was important that she knew that how much we loved her and that we were going to be there for her and to keep her in her own element mm -hmm. um, for the however much time she needed here on this earth, you know. So. Now, what kind of help did you have? I mean, what kind? None? None? I was the everything. I took care of her. When she fell out of the bed, my mom would call me and I would go and pick her up. Wow. I'd bathe her and take care of her. So it was yeah. just you and your mom? Yeah, it was just my mother and myself. Uh, and there were times it was difficult and I had to make sure I maintained my health and well-being to be able to take care of her. Well, well, well how did you do that? What things did you do to keep your health? Uh, I'd work out, exercise, and okay. uh, get plenty of rest when I could. Mm -hmm, when you could. So, I mean, if you th thinking back, do you, do you ever think of back and think maybe I should have got a sitter or somebody to fill in or something like that? Um, not necessarily. So th there were times, mm -hmm. you know, but not necessarily so because my grandmother, she was a true trooper. Mm -hmm. She was a caregiver at one time for her mother, ah, and okay. I helped with that. Um, I was 12 years old when she was taking care of her mother. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So you learned from following yes. her and seeing what she did for her mom. Mm -hmm. Well, is there anything, I know a lot of the caregivers I talked to in the past talked about there are things that are missing in the healthcare field. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you saw that you would recommend that other caregivers should seek out, you know? Yeah, um, I think if you're um, a caregiver or, or about to be a caregiver and you can't do it alone, definitely seek help um, because it can be daunting at times, you know, but I was determined for my grandmother. Ah. And I, I suggest that um, those who are listening and watching this show to seek your services. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, if they need the help, definitely. And we appreciate that. <laughs> well, I'm going to go into, and I, I want to know, when did you start making all these beautiful pieces? Oh, There's you. one on my neck. Uh, when did you start doing that? I started doing custom jewelry back in 2003 while I was still at Delta. Mm -hmm. And it started with the art. The art, my business is called All Bottled Up by Brie. And mm -hmm. that's because it originated with art created from bottles. And from the bottles, I started designing handbags and jewelry. Uh -huh. I make shoes and belts and wallets. And you were able to do that when your grandmother was yes. still here, too. Yes. And I your grandma li grandmother lived to be how long? 95. She would have been 95 in November, and she passed away August. Ah, because I remember we uh, honored her at Bless Girls Rock yes, one year, did. 2015. Yes. And she, she was a trooper. She really was. Yes, she was. She was excited. Yeah. So I am always fascinated because, you know, I love purses. Anybody mm -hmm. knows me. I love to give out purses and I love to buy them. So can you tell us how, how you make these? Sure. I have three walking foot machines. I buy all my hides from Tandy Leather and also the Hide House in California. I have patterns I just come up with. I cut all the hides out and just create them. Ah, mm -hmm. and what about this? My necklaces? Can you, sure. Can you... To show us, this piece is made out of what? This is python, and the stones oh. are geos, they're agates. It's called titanium agate. And in my neckwear, I call it neckwear, it's a lot of wrapping involved oh, in these creations. Oh, this is so. beautiful. Y'all might not be able to get that one because I may get that myself. <laughs> and then, of course, you have these beautiful <laughs> earrings yes. as well that go with the necklace. Mm -hmm. I call those danglers, yes, me. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. What a, amazing, I'm, I'm always impressed with the works that you do and the leather, look at that. That is awesome. Just a sleep. beautiful piece that we have here and stuff. And you actually hand pick all the jewelry? Yes. And stuff? Mm -hmm. Oh my Everything. God. Start oh. to finish. 
And and how do people, how can people get, get it? Reach me. Um, they can contact me. Uh, my phone number is area code 678-637-1122. Also, they can go out. I have a website. We're still working on it. My business name is All Bottled Up by Brie. You can email me. My email is Stallworth, S-T-A-L-L-W-O-R-T-H, Sabrina, S-A-B-R-I-N-A, 1963 at gmail.com. I'm also on Facebook. Go to Sabrina Stallworth's Facebook page. And if you follow me, you'll follow Sabrina as well. So I want to thank you, Sabrina, for being with us today. And I thank you for taking the time to tell us the story about your grandmother. And I look forward to you coming back and sharing more about your, your jewelry. Thank you. And we'll be right back after this. Adventures Pub and Spirits has been serving the Gulf Coast for over 20 years. Awarded TripAdvisor Certificate of Excellence and winner of Covey Awards, favorite local hangout, and best bar on the coast. Adventures Large Menu features traditional pub food like the signature burger, the Juicy Lucy, along with several coastal favorites including raw and char-grilled oysters, po' boys, and royal red shrimp. Stop by for the $8.95 lunch special Monday through Friday. We're open late and located one block north of the Hard Rock Casino on the New Street. That's Adventures Pub and Spirits in Biloxi. It's Christmas time at Furniture Galore and More, and we're making our list and checking it twice. Maybe mom and dad would like a new living room set, or maybe a new dining room set. Grandma would love a new curio. This recliner is perfect for grandpa. What about a new mattress set? For your holiday guests? Furniture Galore and More. Wait, sister, I know what I want for Christmas. My two front teeth. So much see you next month, yeah. And don't forget, Jesus is the reason for the season but only one you should. The new GNC. It's a milestone. There's new lower prices and even more innovations from the best brands. And now you can earn points that turn into free cashback rewards. Now everyone wins with new lower prices and free cashback rewards. Find out more at your local GNC or GNC.com. Welcome to day one. It's one new GNC. Lola Floor, where creative cooking with healthy ingredients is our passion. Our market is a foodie's delight, featuring everything from gourmet pies, specialty cakes, seasonal hummus, to exotic salads. Lola Floor also offers specialty gourmet catering for events. We'll help you design a menu perfect for the occasion. Stop in for daily dinners from our freezer case, homemade chicken pot pie, lasagna, or a hearty soup. Our menus are posted online at lolafloor.com. We will bring your weekly meals right to your door. Lola Floor, 720 Belande Avenue in downtown Ocean Springs. Welcome back to the Unwrinkled Heart Caregiver's Journey. I'm joined here with Courtney Williams of Brookdale Assisted Living, and she's going to share with us some tips. I'm so glad, Courtney, that you were able to join me today and talk a little bit about assisted living. I know a lot of us always have questions when we're trying to decide as a caregiver what's the best place or situation for our parents. You know, so for, you know, for me as a caregiver, I'm always thinking, you know, is this the right decision for her? So your, your community, which is one of many, over a thousand yes. in the U.S., right. Brookdale is one of the largest assisted living operations in the United States, and they operate in over 46 states, mm -hmm. is that correct? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Right. Right. So tell me, just in general, what's the difference between assisted living and me being somewhere where I'm just living in a assist, like an independent type of apartment place. So the difference is you have help. You can still be independent. We encourage our residents to stay independent and then there's help when they need it. 24-hour mm -hmm. nursing, staff on site 24 hours a day to where if they feel bad and they can't you know, take a shower, they're scared they're gonna fall. Mm -hmm. Or the family's worried about their medication management and that they're taking too many medicines or missing oh, medicines. Okay. Um, the nursing is there to help and pick up, um, but we encourage independence and we want our residents to stay independent for as long as possible. Well, let me ask you this. One of the questions that I know a lot of people ask a lot is, you know, what, do I, what if I can't walk? What if I have a catheter or something? Does that disqualify me from being in assisted living? It does. There's a real thin line between assisted living 
and skilled nursing. Mm -hmm. And those two are the main ones, mm -hmm. um, just because of the nursing side. Right. Um, catheters, feeding tubes, has to be in a skilled setting because okay. of the taking care of them. Um, uh -huh. But as long as they come in walking, mm -hmm. they can age in place at Brookdale, which is a good thing with Brookdale. They allow them to age in place. They can, you know, when they stop walking, we can help them and we can escort them to meals and we can escort them to activities. So as long as they come in walking and ambulatory, then they're okay. Most so so when you say age in place, that means, when, so suppose I have, my mother has a memory issue and she can walk in the facility, but she falls later on, maybe six months down the road and break her hip. She doesn't have to now leave the facility. She can actually stay there and y'all put the care in place for that. Right, right. They would typically go to a rehab where mm -hmm. they can have some extensive rehab. Mm -hmm. And then we have inpatient rehab in our community. Mm -hmm. So when the skilled setting is ready to discharge her mm -hmm. and she's had all the workouts she can, mm -hmm. our rehab can pick her up to continue working her out um, to keep her strength and keep her up and going and whatever we can do to keep them going. Okay. Well, you know, November is uh, Alzheimer, National Alzheimer's Month. Yes, it is. So I really want to talk about, y'all are one of the few places that actually has a memory care unit right. that is separate from the other facilities, so other part of the facility. So tell me, what what's special about your unit? What makes it different? So our memory care is designed strictly for Alzheimer's and memory loss. Mm -hmm. um, from the pictures on the walls to the activities that we do daily, everything revolves around memory loss. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to keep them engaged and keep them remembering as much as possible. So we have, um, it's a computer system called InTouch mm -hmm. that Brookdale is the only one that has. Mm -hmm. um, say for instance, you grew up in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. We can go back in the computer system to 1957 in Hawaii and read the newspapers and look at the flowers and look at the ocean and wow. really remind them and keep them engaged and remembering what they used to do mm -hmm. and who they are and why oh, they're wow. here. Oh, now that's, that's fabulous. Yeah. So you actually take them back to the days that they remember. Because right. I know most of the time, with dementia and Alzheimer's, they tend to hold that long-term memory longer right. than their short-term memory, right. So, right. which is where the issues are. Yep. So, so let me ask this, that typically another question that always comes up, and I know there are different ranges of prices and stuff with right. assisted living, right. but on an average, what, what kind of starter prices? And what are the different units that y'all offer you know, so what's the average cost? Right, so for assisted living, mm -hmm. um, the smallest is a studio, mm -hmm. and it starts out at about 2,800 a mm -hmm. month, and that's all of their basic needs included. Mm -hmm. Power, water, cable, three meals a day, laundry, housekeeping, transportation. Wow. And then their care charges, whenever the staff has to do one-on-one -on -one service with them, right. there are extra care charges. Okay. Um, and then memory care is all inclusive, mm -hmm. so all their care is included. Mm -hmm. And we have two different rates where they can have a companion or they can have a private room. Oh, so they can actually get a companion directly right. from y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I didn't know that. That's yeah. different. Yep. That's different. Yep. So I really, I like that. I like the feel of that. I'm sure a lot of caregivers didn't know that. Right. And that y'all can act, y'all actually take them places, Walmart and places like that as mm -hmm. well. We do. Yeah, we okay. Do. Yeah. So, so anyway, so I really appreciate you coming today and, and sharing any uh, thing. How can they contact you? Um, you can call me at 228-388-0946. Um, schedule a visit, come out, have lunch with us, take a visit, walk around, meet our residents, um, and, and see if we're the perfect fit for your loved one. All right. I really appreciate you joining us here today, Courtney. Thank you. And so we'll be right back with Joyce Battle and her baked goods. 
Lola Floor, where creative cooking with healthy ingredients is our passion. Our market is a foodie's delight, featuring everything from gourmet pies, specialty cakes, seasonal hummus, to exotic salads. Lola Floor also offers specialty gourmet catering for events. We'll help you design a menu perfect for the occasion. Stop in for daily dinners from our freezer case, homemade chicken pot pie, lasagna, or a hearty soup. Our menus are posted online at lolafloor.com. We will bring your weekly meals right to your door. Lola Floor, 720 Belonde Avenue in downtown Ocean Springs. The Mississippi Gulf Coast YMCA, building a healthy spirit, mind, and body. Our local summer camp locations offer full-time day camps during summer break from school. The Y also offers preschool child development programs Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Of course, the YMCA is the place to go for swim lessons. We've been teaching people of all ages how to swim for well over a century. Our certified and well-trained staff is here to help you and all the members of your family enjoy the fun of swimming for a lifetime. Morning and evening lessons are offered as well. Group exercise classes can add fun and variety to an otherwise boring exercise schedule. Take the opportunity to meet new people and challenge yourself. Our talented instructors are certified trainers and can help you every step of the way. Go to mgcymca.org or call 228-875-5050. They go above and beyond what any of the other casinos do. They make you feel at home. They make you feel like family. They They make you feel at home right away. I can't even tell you how many hugs I've had today. Never ever experienced anything but positive and lovely people and fantastic times. I don't want to go anywhere else. I won't stay anywhere else. I've done all the other casinos. This is my casino. Taking care of your aging parents or disabled child can be difficult. PRN is here to help. We specialize in assisting family members and caregivers in keeping their loved ones in their preferred living environment. We provide assistance in homemaker and adult sitter services, nursing assistance, personal care aides, and we'll even help you with your everyday errands. We have services available 24 hours a day. We'll help you figure out what you need and tailor the hours and services to fit. You can keep up with our show called Caregiver's Journeys on Cable One Channel 1007 or UVerse Channel 17. If you need help with taking care of your aging parent or disabled child, call and make an appointment with us today at 228-385-2603. For more info, visit our website, prnhomecareservices.com. Really? And you say you love your grandma? Call 888-936-6832 or visit HandyDandyMoving.com. Handy Dandy comes in handy. Welcome back to the Unwrinkled Heart Caregiver's Journeys. I'm here with Joyce Battle, the Renaissance woman, the woman that can sell you anything, even a shirt off your back. But today she has brought us, you know, as caregivers, you know, we're always looking for the easy thing to do because we don't have that much time. So uh, Miss Joyce is going to share with us a, a quick, easy recipe for the holidays since Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Thank so. you. Thank you, Karen, for having me. This uh, recipe that I'm about to share with you now, it can be made within a day of Thanksgiving because uh-huh. it does re- require refrigeration um, at least four hours and even overnight. But it's bakeless, that's what makes it so easy. And the recipes are very simple. One can of condensed milk, and -hmm. you know we have low fat condensed milk now, so you can add that to it. Mm -hmm. And one can of crushed pineapples, uh, the juice and all, goes into into this uh, mixture. And and what is this, what is this called? This is is called an Italian bakeless cake. Italian bakeless cake. Yes. So you just freeze it. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 All right. And so you then have one fourth of lemon juice, mm-hmm. and we mix all this, and we pour it over a nine-inch dish of uh, vanilla wafers, and this is your 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 base for this whole dish. And once this is in, and while you're pouring that, I I must say you t- you said that you are originally born in Biloxi. 
but you were raised out in South uh, California in L.A. Compton area. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. I, I was I was born in Van Cleef. Van Cleef. Van Cleef, right. Mississippi. Awesome. Yes. Yes. I'm adding uh, more vanilla wafers on top of this. Now the vanilla wafers you can change these to pecans if you like, mm -hmm. but uh, you know the older people we prefer the something soft, so mm -hmm. we put the. Um, vanilla wafers on it through here. But yes, I spent my adult life in California mm -hmm. at sales, and I was in sales with the Rose Hills Memorial Park, the world's largest cemetery. Ah. Uh -huh. And I, I did that for 15 years, mm -hmm. the only female manager there. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. And so, so you, so, so you actually moved back here to take care of your mom. I did, mm -hmm. I did. I, I, I did that for three years. Uh, she would, uh, had um, uh, dementia, and um, I came back to to take, take care, care of her. her. I did. Now, yeah. what is this you're putting on this here? Is, this is Cool Whip. This is Cool Whip. Cool, cool oh, Whip. Oh, yes. We're just gonna. This is why it has to sit along with the condensed uh -huh. milk for the hours that it does. But this is less than five minutes. You can have a a, a meal ready for Thanksgiving. Uh, preparing it by on Thursday evening. Mm -hmm. And by lunchtime the next day, you can have this. And then we put a, a we would sprinkle a little coconut on top of it. Oh, just a little bit of that. So just, this just was easy on the hip until yeah. we added that yeah. coconut. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why it's, we're only going to add just a tad, just yeah. a little of that. Yeah. Okay. And then to top it all off, we just put the cherries on. Ah, oh, the cherries. Yes. Yeah, the, the cherries. cherries. We have to have something in common here. The cherries. Right. 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 <laughs> the cherries. Yes. And this, again, this is the Italian cream, and this is uh, one of my easy bakes. But then all my uh, other desserts yeah. are that I brought in for you today. Uh -huh. It's my signature seven flavored pound cake. Oh, and yes. And I have the um, red velvet cake. Now that red velvet cake is also oh. on the menu at um, Satchimo's. Uh, at where? Satchimo's, the jazz club in the Iberville. Oh, really? Okay, yes, so have, if you go to Satchimo's, you can you actually have, order your, yes, your red velvet cake. cake. Uh -huh, a slice of the red velvet oh, cake. Oh, my goodness. My go yes. And I've actually had some of this pound cake before. This is actually awesome. Fact. Now, tell me, what did you get your recipes? What did that one was my mom's, your and mom I perfected it. Yeah, that was my mom's recipe. The original came from her. Most of my, my baked goods is from her. I, it's uh, from her recipes. Okay. And, now. and I just add a little twing to them. Okay. And she was a cooker, and so am I. So, okay. Um, well, and what's what's the name of your bakery? The Again? name of my bakery is JB's to go. JB's to, to go. go. Yes. JB for Joyce Battle. Yes. JB's to go. And then I also see for the the Thanksgiving time, you also have. Uh, your uh, what is this? Uh, potato pie. Pota sweet potato, potato pie. Uh huh. Oh Lord! But right mm -hmm. now I get to taste this fabulous. Yes. What did you say it was again? Italian bakeless cake. Italian yeah. bakeless cake. Oh yeah. my goodness! And this is ready for the refrigerator for four hours or overnight, mm. and it'll be ready for. Oh y'all, this is good. This. this is really good. Mm mm mm. Okay, so, so tell me. If, now, you know, as a caregiver myself, sometimes I don't have time for nothing. So, if I needed something else like a turkey or what else do you do, you know, on the go for the holidays, what kind of cooking stuff can I call you in order? Anything that you want, call JB's at 228-424-5933 or my email is JB's to go. Mm -hmm. JB's to go at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. So, so if I need a turkey, I can call Joyce. Call me and give me three days. Okay. Give if I three. need some dressing, call Joyce. I can call Joyce. Can call Joyce. Okay. Yes, yes. And if I need one of these pound cakes, which I need right now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Call, I can call. You can call Joyce. And give me that number again. The number is 228 424. Five nine three three, JB's to go. JB's to go. I want to thank you for joining me again today, Joyce, and I want to thank you for coming and joining us today. 
and and I hope you enjoyed and were able to get a lot of information with, with Brookdale's assisted living and of course Sabrina who shared her wonderful story and her great beautiful jury here and then of course Joyce Battle who if you want to order your Thanksgiving dinner feel free to call join us back here next week at the Unwrinkled Heart Caregiver's Journeys. Mm -hmm.